decided to ride to Columbus, Indiana, stop by the poor house. Prices not so good, selection kind of nice. Never seen this before. 12 years old and barrel proof on paper looks good. Plenty of green weller, although overpriced. Is this stuff any good? Heaven Hill, Bottom Bond, overpriced almost everywhere. 132 proof, that's really good for this bottle. So I dropped by this place and other than the most impeccable bottle organization, they didn't have much as in the way of bourbon, told me their other stores get the good stuff. So at this point in the trip, I realized I made a huge mistake, took the bike, it was way colder than I thought, it started drizzling. On top of that, when I got to Columbus, Indiana, all those liquor stores turned out to be the same one, Cork Liquors, which was pretty much useless for bourbon. Decided to soldier on and try to make a few more stops before it gets dark. This is cool that Barrel does private store picks. At this point, I was totally drenched with nothing to show for it. My boy's Green River. I wonder if uh, they'll ever become allocated like Eagle Rare. This seagrass is super controversial. Some people love it, some people really hate it because it's, I guess, cheating? Too many ingredients or something? I don't know. If you're going with four roses, uh, this one is my favorite for sure. So I finally found a great spot. If this was somebody's secret honeypot store, sorry in advance, I didn't mean to blow it up. Great price on Ezra 7 Rye, still got three left. Another bullet I've never seen before, even though I'm not a big fan of this brand. Templeton Sherry, kind of reminds me of old Ezra 7 a bit. So I finally found the little gem I was looking for. Super limited edition, new riff winter whiskey. It was only $36, really rad mash bill, very interesting and if I don't want to drink it myself, I can definitely trade it with somebody for an Eagle Rare or a Weller Antique. <laughs>